Hi friends, welcome back. Naji here. So we are continuing a discussion with Crowd for AI, and in this video, we will be discussing on how can we execute a JavaScript using Crowd for AI. So here we can see a web page. Okay, so this web page containing different pages. Okay, so it's a paginated one, and here we can see a more button. So let me click on this more button. So this will go to the next page. Okay. So what we are going to do in this video, so we are trying to programmatically click on this more button and we'll try to take a screenshot of this particular or create a PDF of this particular screen. Okay. So we'll see how can we do that. Okay. For that I have my Visual Studio code is open. Okay. Now we can import few packages. So I can import OS, I can import sys and from crowd4. Crowd for a we can import async web crowd method and we can import the cache mode and we can import the crowd run config okay now we can have the async def main method so this is the same code that we have done in our earlier videos also so async web crawler i can set as a crawler so the result will be here can do a away and we can do a crawler dot run okay so we need to take the web page url so my url will be so i will add the url here and here i can set the cache mode and cache mode can be bypass i can set the pdf as true okay and this is a simple code so here we have a result dot success so we'll be checking this what is this uh, the the command is a crowd dot run is success and we are also checking that result dot uh, pdf so there is a pdf and we can write the pdf okay so i can do a write method i can do a write open uh, into pdf dot pdf i can have a write binary as f and f dot write result dot pdf okay so this will write a pdf to our folder so first we can run this one okay and we'll see what is the output okay so let me rename it as a one okay. so here i can do a if i can have a name sorry this one is the name okay here i can do a async so let me import the async io here can be imported so you can imported so io dot run i can do the main okay so this is our first step code so this is the basic code and what it, it does is it is try to load the the first page and it will uh, it will create a pdf of the youtube underscore pdf underscore one name okay so we execute this i can do a python js underscore y dot py so it's giving us error okay so because we are not given the the url path so let me go and give the url path here i can give a url path here now let's execute it okay so execution is completed we have got the one pdf so let me reveal it in the finder and let me open it so this is the screenshot of the first page now we'll see how can we do the second page or how can we click on the a more button okay for that we need to see we need to check the uh, maybe let me open it in the second take my google chrome this is very simple so here i can come and we can click on can do a inspect here we can see this is the its class name is more link right so we have to call this class to click on the and we will what we will do we will try to figure out this 
uh, this a more class okay and which is under the anger anger tag and we will try to hit the click of this class okay so we'll see how we do that okay for that first i can write a js command so here we can do a js command okay so what we can do first we can scroll down okay for that i can call a window dot scroll to okay here we can mention the zero then document document dot you need to ensure that spelling is correct otherwise we have to spend a lot of time to correct this so it will be scroll height after that we have to do the semicolon so this is a javascript that that we are asked that we need to execute using the crowd here we can see a document dot query selector okay here i need to select the anger tag and we need to get the more link and we need to hit the click So the problem with JavaScript command is that if if we make any any issues with this um, this error or if if you misspell it or if you do any kind of a errors to this command like it is very hard to figure it out. Okay, so it, we have to spend a lot of time to figure it out because uh, the crowd for AI will not say that okay your JavaScript command is wrong or it will not show something like that. Okay, so we have to spend a lot of time on that. So please ensure that the command is correct. Okay. Now what we can do, we can have a config, I can create a run config here, uh, we can specify the JS code, I can mention JS command, okay, here also I can set, sometimes we have to set it here also because PDF is equal to true and uh, cache mode, I can set a cache mode bypass, okay. this will override, okay, now let me execute it and before going to that, let me make it 2. Okay, execute it. So it's running. Okay, we can see the two here, and let me go and check the result. Okay, it is showing the same old page, right? So, what we can do, so let me check the spelling here window scroll to zero document dot body dot scroll height okay closing here now document dot query selector and a dot more link here we have more link and click okay so this seems to be fine okay we have not given the config here so that is a problem okay so i have created the config and i need to pass the config to error okay so now the config is there now let me run this okay so i'm running it okay now we are getting an error error updating image dimension page evaluate execution context was destroyed more likely uh, because of navigation so what happened is that when it is trying to take the pdf the page is actually clicking on that okay so the um, the crawler is clicking on the page and this is actually causing this kind of a error so i need to tell the web page okay you have to before taking the pdf you have to ensure that all the javascript are all the javascript are run, running i mean all the javascript are run properly okay so for that what i can do i can do a wait for command okay. here i can say js i can set it as boolean so this will ensure that all the javascripts are run properly okay so it will wait until complete all the javascript files so now let me execute it so the execution is in progress this time it is executed without any errors now we can go and check it's working or not so we can can see that yes so now this is working fine now this time we are getting the second page so if you go to if you go to this website and just click on the more link click on it okay we can see that it is started from 31 learning fast so let me check it yeah learning fast and accurate and libreoffice skill 
Scala Libra Office key. Let me check the last one. You can still on music. So let me scroll down. Okay, I can't scroll it down. So let me scroll it down. Oh, I can't see the last. Yeah, you can still on on music, so it's still showing fine. So that is about all about in this video. So we, what we have done is we have understood how can we execute a JavaScript command using crawl dot for a. Okay, so in this way we will able to give execute any kind of a button click or. Uh, we can give a username password then we can um, we can do a login to an application all those things we can do so maybe we can try it out in our coming videos so please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye